In this video, I want to show all of you how to take a backup from an existing website and set it up locally on your local computer. And we're just going to dive in. So here we go. Uh, let's see. So first thing that I do, um, so th this is uh, my website, AaronRyman.com. And don't look at the website. It's not great. I'm going to be redesigning it. I just have access to it and it's not a client site. So that's why I'm, I'm using this. So uh, normally the way I would do a backup is I would go, so this, this site is hosted on WP Engine. And to be honest, I have had this account for free for 12 years. So um, Thank you, WP Engine, for that. Um, I know with what's going on in the whole ecosystem right now, it might not be the most popular thing, but I mean, I've had it for 12 years and it's been pretty awesome. Um, so normally in WP Engine, like if I needed to get a backup of, of the website, I would go into my.wpengine.com, log in and grab the backup. That's the official correct way to do it. But I know that a lot of times you might be hosted somewhere at, I don't, I'm just going to pick like HostGator or something. I don't even know if they do daily backups, right? But I'm just saying at some random hosting place, they might not have you, they might not give you a control panel where you have daily backups and you might need to download and use a plugin to get this uh to get the backup. So I'm going to show you how to do it. The right way to do it would be, again, go to the control panel. You might not have that. So I would go over here to plugins and the plugin that I like to use is called Duplicator. And Duplicator does a really good job of, guess what, duplicating the website. So I went ahead and ran this backup but if you install the plugin, just install it like you would any other plugin, then activate it, then go over here and hit create new. And when you hit create new, you can name it and pretty much just hit defaults here. So you hit next. It's gonna scan through and say, hey, are you gonna have enough space? Are you gonna have enough RAM? Are you gonna be able to run all this stuff? Hopefully, you'll be able to go through this process and you'll be able to get this backup. A lot of times, though, bad hosting, not bad hosting, or I should say hosting that... If you can't run this backup, go host somewhere else. But if you can't do this backup... Um, there, there's a problem and there are some, some other things you can try to use to get a backup. You might have to go manually and do a backup. Uh, reach out to me if that's the case, if you still can't do a backup. Um, I would think the, the other thing, if all else fails, you can do the backups for ManageWP. ManageWP has a great once a month free backup costs you nothing to install that plugin, activate it, and you can get daily backups. And that normally does a good job of doing those, those backups. Because if you think about that, that's owned by GoDaddy and millions of websites are backed up on there. So it has to be able to work on good hosting like um, Convesio or, or whatever, uh, or really bad hosting that's some kind of like crappy cPanel, sorry cPanel, but you know, some kind of crappy cPanel hosting. Um, it needs to run on, on both, so it normally can do a backup. Anyway, if this works and this, you get all these greens, you're probably good, and you hit this build button, and it probably will take about 60 seconds or so to do a backup. I'm just gonna sit here and twiddle my thumbs um, yeah, see, it went from 0 to 59%, so this is going to be done in one second. So once we have this backup, we're going to use local, uh, a plugin, not a plugin, an application originally written by Flywheel, um, but we'll be able to install 
local and then we'll be able to drag and drop hopefully this back up directly into local and we'll be up and running in no time. This is taking a little bit longer so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over here to the backup that I completed uh, just t today actually. So I'm going to hit the backup button or I'm going to actually I'm going to go here and do this little drop down and I'm going to grab this file here, this .zip file. I'm going to click on that. It's going to take two seconds to download and now I've already downloaded it once. All right, so that is all we need to do. We have the file backed up. Try not to show any of these uh, files here, but uh, let's see. Um, All right, download. I'm gonna just drag this file from my downloads directly to my desktop here. So let's see, drag it over here. I hate my background. Uh, let's see, change current background. Let's see if that changes. All right, maybe that's better, maybe not. Maybe not, yeah, anyway, whatever. So this is the file that I downloaded. So now I'm going to close this and then I'm going to hit uh, local and we're going to launch local. So I'm assuming that you, you can go to local and actually I guess I should probably go back. Um, let's do this. Local. I just always find it by local by flywheel, but localwp.com. So go over here to localwp. Let me make sure that that, yeah. So hit download and they do ask that you give them your email address. So um, just select which version. If you have a new Mac, you want the silicone one. If you have an older Mac, probably something before 2020, you are using an Intel most likely. Uh, I already have have it installed, so let's do that. Um, when you install local, you won't have these two sites in here. I'm going to go ahead and just delete this. And actually, I'm going to delete this one also. It's going to ask for my password. All right, so that's there, and let's just delete this one. All right, so... Watch how cool this is. So I have this backup from Duplicator. In theory, I should be able to drag this and just drop it right here on top of local. And it's gonna say, ooh, what do you wanna call the site? Now, obviously it's named after the file name. I'm just gonna call it Aaron Ryman. This is kind of cool. I can change it to something else if I want to, directories, things like that. I'm gonna hit continue. I'm gonna make a couple changes in here because I wanna use a slightly newer version of PHP. I don't. I think it by default, it was going to PHP uh, 8.1 or something. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go up to an 8.3. And I'm gonna use Nginx the newest version, and MySQL. I'm going to hit Import Site, and in theory, this just imports everything, and we're up and running. In theory. All right, ask for my password. So it's importing the dupe file. So let me just unzip this. All right, so, okay, so it did import it, but let me just show you the plugin, not the plugin, yeah, the duplicator plugin by default creates, it just makes a copy of the site and then it also stores some stuff in here called so if you have to manually import this 
duplicator puts a .sql file right here, and that is your backup of your database. So, all right, so the site is in theory up and running. Uh, I think we're probably gonna hit a local or an SSL issue. So let's see, I don't know. I'm gonna hit open site. Yeah, all right, well, it is not exactly working. You know, I could probably figure out why. All right, so we have a copy of the site. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so I would say we're done. It's just not quite working yet. So I'm going to hit inspect. I'm going to figure out, okay, why is this? So Aaron... So it's trying to get these images through an HTTPS connection. Right, so it's not letting me. So if I tell it advanced and proceed, okay. So now if I refresh, there we go. So I can just tell it to accept it or I probably need to do a search and replace. Um, but anyway, now it's working. So we do have a working copy of AaronRima.com, even though the site might be kind of ugly. It's working. Yep, it's it's kind of ugly, but hey, uh, that's how you get a local, local copy of the site up and running. And if you have any questions, uh, put, put, put them in the comments. Um, I've done a bazillion migrations in my life and I, I'm curious how people do migrations and how people work locally. So, uh, if you have questions in the comments, put, put them in there. Um, and thanks. See ya.